Monaco, yes, indeed. Uh, great memories there because of winning there last year. It's amazing. Um, and it's my home Grand Prix. It's where I've grown up. It's where I live now. So I look forward to it massively. Um, and yeah, I mean, the fascinating thing about that is just this challenge yeah, to to get the most out of my car and get the most out of myself around this track without making any mistakes because you're not allowed to make a mistake because even just one mistake during the entire weekend will ruin a good result. You might still have a decent result, but the top result, you can't allow to make any mistakes. And um, that's the big challenge. And it's just so on the edge. And, you know, going from one guardrail to the next, not seeing behind the guardrail so you don't know what's coming, you drive by memory, you just remember what's coming and all that. And flat out with these turbo cars, it's going to be a bit difficult with the traction for sure. That's going to be challenging in Monaco. And then key corners, I would say the Loves, the slowest corner of the year. And difficult, you know, I really just have to let go of my hands and everything to get the steering wheel round all the way, you know, it's like... <laughs> and then and then on the exit, I'll probably have, you know, sideways action from the turbo, so I need to make sure that I have my steering wheel back in control the right way and, and then going the next way. And the next highlight is probably the tunnel and exiting the tunnel into that jump and, and breaking of the chicane. And that's actually my way to school, you know, the tunnel, I went, I went there every single day. Uh, my mom drove me to school. <laughs> And now I'm going through there with my Silver Arrow at 300 something kilometers an hour. So I look forward to that race. It's going to be a special experience as always. One of the difficulties also is going through that tunnel. It's a bit darker and then you go into the bright sunshine right afterwards and your eye each time has to adapt quickly because you have only a split second and then you need to be ready to get the braking zone perfect, which is a couple of tenths afterwards. What makes a car quick in Monaco is being soft but not too soft and having lots of total downforce because it doesn't, the downforce doesn't have to be efficient, just needs to really push down massively and probably drivability this year. You know, a turbo engine is often difficult to drive because there's turbo lag. You know, you go on power, nothing happens and all of a sudden all the turbo just comes in and that on a street circuit where you need super precision, it's going to be tough.